Hello everybody and welcome back to Throttle Grotto. This week we got tires and we're going to try them out on the Rabbit and see how bad our offset and fender clearance really. Hey everybody, welcome to this week's episode. I had ordered tires and they finally came in uh, last night and you can see the rest of the stack. Well, maybe you can't right down there. Maybe it's just out of frame. But I ordered a set of four tires. I ordered 175, 50, 15s in order to get a little bit of stretch and hopefully give me the clearance that I need up front on the Rabbit. So, so the goal for today is to put the wheels on. Um, I only had one tire mounted up because um, I knew that the wheel that I was going to put it on was going to be on the back. I have two wheels that have sort of like dimpled up lips. Um, so if I have to change those out, it's not a big deal. Um, but the plan is if the wheels don't fit in the front and there's just not enough clearance for suspension travel, I'm going to order a set of one inch lips um, because there's one and a half on here right now. And I'll show you how I came to that conclusion if I can find my tape measure. Okay, so to measure, you're going to take your wheel. This is going to be really awkward. <laughs> this is going to be really awkward to do. But you take your wheel and you measure from the inside of the lip to where the seam would be on the wheel. And that is just about an inch and a half right there. So, yep, inch and a half. Figured I'd better double check my measurement. Um, so in the case of a welded wheel like this, I'm gonna to have to find someone with a lathe big enough that I can mount the wheel in the lathe and have them turn that seam back down and open it up. And then we're gonna turn those two front wheels into three-piece wheels. And we'll get a set of one-inch lips. They'll be brand new lips, they'll be polished, they'll look nice. And then we'll bolt everything together, seal it up like a regular three-piece wheel, and that will take care of the extra half-inch clearance that I feel like I need up front. But I'm not gonna know 100% until I get a wheel on the car. So I got one wheel, I'm gonna test it on the back, because I'm pretty sure it'll fit on the back, and then I'm gonna move it to the front, and we'll try it out there. Okay, so I got the rear wheel on, and I'm going to try to leave the car on jack stands because I need to run hard fuel lines from the fuel tank up to the engine compartment, and I'd rather not like take it down, put it off jack stands, and put it back up. So I'm going to try to jack up the suspension in the back here, um, just enough to compress it, just to see where it lines up, because that worked up really well with the front wheel. Um, so I'm going to try to do that with the back wheel here, and just lift the car by the suspension just enough to compress it before it starts coming off the jack stands because I don't want the thing to fall off of here. Um, but it looks wide to me, but then again, I'm kind of old school. So um, so let's, let's see what, how this turns out. All right, so as you can see, <laughs> the rear actually looks pretty good. Um, take a little bit closer look at it here. So I'm not going for the super slammed look. That's probably pretty close to where I'm going to have the ride height. So I'm actually really happy with how that turned out. Now the front is where I'm really concerned. So let's get a wheel on here. All right, so that is a bold fitment as far as I'm concerned. I'm really on the fence on how on how this is going to work. Um, the the rears I'm really comfortable with. The fronts, let me show you here. So looking straight down on it, you can see the tire still comes just outside of the fender lip here, and I think that. So I think over really big bumps, I'm going to have some rubbing issues, although I, I feel like this is probably some pretty stiff suspension. It's not, the, it's not the top of the line. It's not comfy like Air Ride. Um, it's just a, uh, you know, off the shelf coil over solution that 
I'll probably end up replacing with something else down the road once I get a little more money set aside for something like that. Um, so let me know what you think in the comments. I'm, I'm inclined to narrow up these wheels by a half an inch so that they kind of sit the same in the wheel well as the, uh, as the rears do. So, um, <laughs> so that's a really short episode, probably one of the shortest episodes of this, of Throttle Grotto that we've had. Um, but, uh, a lot of, a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes right now and getting out to the shop has been kind of difficult. So sometimes life gets in the way of your toys, and this is one of those times. So um, that's it for this week. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed uh, seeing how these wheels fit on here. So I have a set of lips on order in a one inch, and uh, I think I'm gonna hold on to that order and uh, get it, make sure that it's coming this way. Um, so next, next step is to find something with a giant lathe that can turn these wheels down and split them up for me. So. Until next week, thank you guys for watching. Get out there and work on something. So I will say that I'm really happy with how the 17570s look on, on this car. Um, and for the price, they were 250 bucks delivered for a set of four tires. Um, they're Accelera brand, which I don't know much about. Uh, I think they're a European brand, but they uh, they had good reviews uh, from consumers, not just from the retailer that sells them. So um, hopefully, hopefully they'll be a good solid tire. And uh, that's it. Uh, until next week, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you subscribe, share, do all those things that you do with all your favorite YouTube channels. And don't forget, get out there and work on something.